Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Uh, if you haven't and you are watching right now, please like, subscribe and share and watch till the end of the video. I know it's going to be a long video, but it's a setup tutorial for the Z9 which has a lot of features and a lot of settings. I'm sorry guys, but this has to be a long video. So, starting off a few things here. Firstly, people are asking me, how do I open the battery and put it in for the Z9? How do I put the memory card in? Why do I need an F to Z mount? I'll be explaining all that in the video. And I'll also be, I'll also be showing you a few settings that you have to do for your Z9. Okay? Let's get into it. So first, the battery, obviously. You see this little thing here? You, you pull it out, you twist it that way, twist it that way, okay, pull out, then you see this yellow thing here, you have to push that down, okay, it will stay down automatically, you have to push it to whichever side it's not on, you put the battery in, then this will automatically adjust, and put it in like this okay and then again to lock it twist and put it like that there you go that is how to put the battery in now the memory card memory card in the memory card you have to slide this down keep it pressed and push backwards this way and then it will open and you can slowly open it like this and as you can see there are two memory slots. I've kept my 128 GB Pro Grade. If you've watched my unboxing video, then you know all the names. I've put this memory card in slot one. I will put it now. I just took it out. There are two slots for this. And as I show in the setup tutorial, they will be very useful. So now put it back in slot one. Push it in. And just close it like this. You don't even have to pull this down. There you go guys. That's how to put the memory card in. And if y'all are wondering how do I see how many photos are left. Put your camera off. And you see this little screen over here. Well, it will have a number. For me it's 1.4k. So 1.4k photos are left on this camera for me to take. That's how many photos you have left with your current settings. And how to attach your F to Z mount. First, you have to remove the big one that says Nikkor Z mount on it. You can see the Z mount in gold. You have to open this, then open the Z mount. This has to be matching with the white, the white dot. Remove it, remove this, and quickly put it in. White dot has to go with white dot, and then twist it this side. There you go, it's in. You put a lens, an F mount lens, to a Z mount. Right? Now I can put it on, and this is how it looks on the default display screen when it's on. To change display screen, just press display and it'll change display screen. And if, you're, if it's too dark and you can't read this, you can just illuminate it like this. And people have also been is this, this and this over here. Suppose you are taking a portrait like this, okay? You can't just do this, it's the camera is too big for that, right? So, there is one over here, you can do that, see? This camera is very comfortable for whoever touches it. It feels very good in whoever touches it. And how to change the modes? See, over here it says mode. 
you press and hold okay and you change like this i normally would prefer a mode so i'm going to put it in a mode there it's in a mode as you can see over here okay that's it with the intro now let's get into the video so guys this is the z9 and as i showed in my unboxing video okay so let's start so i'm just going to tell you all the menus i'm going to do over here photo shooting video shooting custom settings playback i'm not going to do so much setup menu yeah these are all the main ones I'm going to do. and custom is locked so let's start shooting menu back you can keep whatever you want just remember each time you change it your settings will be different so i'm keeping it on me extended menu banks yeah i mean if you if you want more men menu banks then you can keep it on and you can keep it off um you can name your storage stick to whatever you want roll play in slot 2 it's either overflow backup don't do backup please and please and these two but i choose overflow so if one goes if one is fully fully taken up then it goes to the other card image area fx and keep this off Actually, you should choose whichever is the highest for you. If it's higher than it, then keep it high. Image quality. You can either choose only RAW or RAW plus JPEG. Fine. <coughs> I'm just gonna keep it on RAW. Image size. Obviously, you want large if you're keeping it on RAW plus JPEG. Fine. RAW recording. on lossless compression you don't want your video quality to be in the slightest bit white balance you go to k and then you don't fill it up set picture control you should keep it on either neutral with these settings sharpening at 4 mid range sharpening 1 clarity 0 and everything at 0 or you can do auto Color space sRGB. Don't choose anything else. If you want a Joe RGB, then you can. But I, I choose sRGB. Um, high ISO noise reduction. Keep it high. Vision at control. Keep that on off. Diffraction on. Auto distor distortion off. Flicker reduction. That you can. Metering. Center weight. Best for wildlife. This is wildlife optimized only. Continuous AF. Then area mode. You would either want single point, which is which is the default, or three D tracking, which is subject tracking basically. And if you're wildlife animal, then eagle, eagle, but I choose. Then all of these things are me. Uh, yeah, that's it for photo. Go through the settings again. You can pause your video. Okay. Now video shoot. Basically, almost the same as photo shooting, except for some few things over here and there. You want this one. ProRes 422 HQ 10 bit. You don't want the raw ones, although they are 12 bit. You want the 10 bit. Okay, then the frame size you want as high as possible. If you are uploading on YouTube and all, then as high as possible. Or you can do nineteen uh, twenty by eighty by ten eighty sixty. But this is just me. Video quality, high quality, image area same as same as the other. Extended oversampling of 
white balance same. Actually, if you go into the white balance, there's a setting same as photo setting. So just keep it as that. Sales projection. Then everything else. Flicker reduction you want on 60, so meter it, center weight it. I mean, for video, you can also choose the metrics, but center weight it to 80. Yes, AFC, lay down both the subject tracking, and again. I think adjust these for viewing is good. 
show effects of setting. Actually, I have some effects. Warm display colors. Oh god, this is a nightmare. If you choose any of the modes, this happens. Just put it on off. LCD illumination. If you put this on, then this will stay on for the entire session of when you put your camera on. So just go and keep it on. Keep it off. View all in continuous mode. Yeah. Yeah. Grid. Grid. You can choose. This is completely your choice. I choose three by three because if you choose four by four, then in the middle you see that. I don't like it, so I just keep it quiet. Virtual horizon. This is your choice. I like type A personally. Custom monitor shooting. Keep all of these off. Display two, three, and four, and display five. I mean, if you want something like this, then yeah, you can do that. But you can also customize it here. Suppose you want. Like a cursor in the middle, you can keep it. Suppose you want Instagram, you can keep it. Virtual horizon, you can keep it. But I like my first two displays. So whenever you touch this display button, it will change. Custom viewfinder, again just turn two, three, four, or same thing. I FPS viewfinder, yes, you want this one. Keep this highest without auto FP. So like one out of two hundred is good. Same for this. Exposure you want entire frame. This you want subject only. Modeling flash. If you're good with modeling flash, then keep it on. And of course, you can turn it off. Please just keep it on. This on flash. Bracketing order. And this you can choose. Customize this. This customizes everything. You can. This is your customization. It's your choice. It's not your choice. It's your choice. But reverse indicator position. You should keep this on the second option. Minus first and plus. Reverse ring for focus. All your video, video stuff. Okay, just AF yeah. speed. This is the only thing you need to change. So you want fast. Okay, that's it for custom setting menu. Now we're going to play back. It. This is your choice. This setup menu. format menu. Formats everything. Delete everything. No need. Find a display, keep this on standard unless you want a small finder display. Standard unless you want a small finder display. AF fine tune options, keep this on. Non CPU and they don't, don't fill you with non CPU anything, please. Clean image sensor, you should keep it on off or cleaning off, but clean and shut down. Okay, this all is not needed. Camera sounds, this is also your choice. You don't want the beep. You want it at volume 1 and at low pitch. Shutter sound, you can choose to keep on or off. It's a mirrorless camera, so you can customize all these things. Silent mode, I just don't keep it on. HDMI, keep it on. 2160p progressive. Don't keep it on this because then you can't upload stuff. I mean, if you don't want to upload, then you can keep it on this. USB connection priority upload always. Location data don't need Battery info shows how much battery you have left. USB power delivery on. Energy saving if if you want to back if you want a battery saving mode keep it on. Yeah, that's it. Then you can check your firmware version. Yeah, so that's it with the setup tutorial, guys. Awesome production. Thank you. That's it for today, guys. I'm sorry, it's been a very long video. I think 20 minutes. Um, if you're
are still watching please like subscribe and share the video with your friends i'm not sure if they'll watch the full video i know uh, but thank you for watching it's it's such a pleasure to be posting again thank you guys